Alright guys, welcome to another DTX Mania tutorial. And before we start, I would like to request that if this tutorial has helped you, please press the like button. And for more tutorials and weekly rhythm gameplay videos, please press the subscribe button. Thank you very much. So have you ever downloaded so much sim files that you don't know how to organize them anymore? Well, here's how I organize my sim files. First, let me show you here some of the folders I have organized. As you can see here in my example, the anime folder has its own image. And when you go inside, there are even subfolders as well. So I'll just exit DTX Mania and proceed to the DTX Files folder. Anyway, fun fact before I start. Did you know that you can name the DTX files to any folder name? And DTX Mania will still know the same files are there? They just use DTX files as an indication that you have to put the same files there. Now I'll delete everything in here so I could show you everything that I did from scratch. To make a new folder in DTX Mania, you should name your folder with the prefix DTX files dot. So let's say I want an anime folder here. I type DTX files dot anime. If you just type anime, the folder will not appear in DTX Mania. Basically, this is the way you want to tell DTX Mania to consider this as a folder. Now, what if you wanted to make a subfolder inside a folder? Well, inside that folder, you just create another folder with the prefix DTX files dot. So let's say I have a lot of same files from new game. I can create a folder named DTX files dot new game inside the anime folder. So now we have an anime folder and a subfolder inside called new game. Did you know that you can set things such as folder image, font color, and many other parameters for each folder? Download the box.dev file. The link is in the description of this video. This is my sample box.dev template. Now we paste the box.dev inside the anime folder. With this file, we're basically telling DTX Mania to set certain parameters for this folder. Just remember, the box.dev must be inside the folder you want to modify. Now I will discuss what the items do. But first, do take note that for each item here, there is a semicolon and a space before each item. This means that DTX Mania will bypass this, and it is completely up to you which items you need to enable. To enable them, just remove the semicolon and the space and make sure the line starts with a hashtag. Artist is kind of like a subtitle for this folder. You can set a subtitle or the artist name for the folder if applicable. Comment is a long custom description that you like and it will scroll when the text is too long. Pre-image is the picture the folder will show. And optionally, the pre-movie is the movie that will play when you select this folder. For the pre-image, the dimension I use is 414 by 410 pixels and is the usual size I use for my same file banners. For the pre-movie, the dimensions I use is 208 by 272 pixels. And if you use anything higher than that, the movie will be cropped. Also, if you're going to use pre-movie, pre-image will be useless. The files set for pre-image and pre-movie should be inside the folder alongside the box.dev file. Preview will be the audio file playing when you select the folder and it will loop back as well. Allowable formats are WAV, MP3, or OGG. I recommend the preview file to be around 10 to 15 seconds. Like pre-image and pre-movie, preview should be in the same folder. Font color will change the color of the font used for this folder. If you don't use this, the default color of FFFFFF or white will be used. In here, we have a 6 character hexadecimal code. You can use a website such as color-hex.com to make your own hex code. Do not forget the hashtag before the hex code. So I'll show you how it works. Let's change artist to various artists. Then, let's change comment to a folder full of anime sim files, Nop said. Then let's say I already have an image here to use in pre-image. I won't be using the preview here, so I'm leaving the semicolon and the space. Font color. Mm. Well, let's try blue. So the value is 0000FF. Let's save this file, then run DTX Mania. So now we see here that the anime folder has a preview image in a different color as well. It also says various artists as the subtitle and the description as well. If you really have the knack in organizing every folder in your SimFire collection, then you should do this. 
otherwise leaving it without box that tip is perfectly fine.